Hello, good afternoon, social media navigators. I'm finally here, ready to play Toki. Oh, no, 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 wrong Toki. This Toki, the brand new Toki, released, re-released for the Nintendo Switch, exclusively for the Nintendo Switch. This actually came out about a year ago, last Christmas, last November, but I just barely got my hands on it because it was a really difficult game to get just as it is on any other platform. Um, I do own it, I just wanted to go on and say I do own it, completing box, but uh, in either platform you try to get it, on the Nintendo, on the Amiga, or any other consoles, Commodore 64 I believe it's another, m m a few other several consoles where it was released, it is quite an uncommon game to get your hands on. So me, I was very fortunate to get these on, uh, I think it was a gaming convention a couple years ago. Thanks to our friend Gus, he hooked us up with a really good deal. And this, I think, I want to say was literally the last complete inbox Toki Retro Collector Edition that I was that's probably available anywhere here in LA, in all of LA, the Orange County, San Diego counties, because I literally had to travel about, well, I had to had someone from 30 miles pick it up and then of course do me the favor to pick it up for me. You may not be familiar so much with Toki. Toki, it's a game that was originally released in 1989 in the arcades. Why is it one of my favorite ones? Well, I remember going into the grocery stores or when my parents had to go and buy groceries. I would just uh, wait for them at the entrance of the grocery stores that back in the 80s, 90s. It wasn't very unusual to find arcades at the entrance of the grocery stores and Toki and Tetris was one of the ones that I would spend my money on every time we went grocery shopping. Well, I would just stay behind to play at the arcades and that's how Toki became one of my favorite ones. Toki, it's more of a shoot em up platformer. Sometimes they go by the terms of run and gun games. I wanna compare it to Contra. It's one of those the one hit deaths. It doesn't have any health energy or health bars which makes it a really challenging game alone just by that and as far as the um, the energy power-ups it is also very similar to Contra it has the spread or super uh, power-up it has the spiral type of uh, power-up so even on the easiest setting on any console that you might wanna pick it up even on the easiest setting, it's very challenging. I'm gonna play it on the medium setting and see how far I go. Probably not very far, but um, it is very challenging and I highly recommend it. Although I highly recommend it, let me be kind of more specific and recommend it if you can get your hands on, not necessarily on the collector's edition, but aside from the Nintendo Switch, I would highly recommend it on either the Sega Genesis or the Amiga CD. Those are the best ports and even though the Sega Genesis in particular is not a direct port because it's not exactly, it doesn't reflect exactly what the air, arcade gameplay used to be, it's one of the best ones uh, along with the Amiga CD. The rest of them from what I've seen on the gameplays around, they, they all suck, they, they really, it's, it's, they're just pretty cheaty, cheaty um, ports. So sliding this out, uh, you see it kind of has a slight cover and then you open up the box, just unpop it like this, and of course it comes with a little Toki memora memories of a Melarina, which is kind of a kind of a comic, quick comic. It's pretty neat. Um, it's kind of just a short story. <laughs> it has some funny animations and characters. And then it also has some uh, decals, stickers, if you will, that are pretty neat. Definitely don't plan to use these or stick them up anywhere. They're actually really neat. I want to keep them in this condition as they are. And then I want to say these are like some sort of cards 
or sketches like that you can frame up and they're signed by the artist which uh, reminds me this game it's hand drawn it's completely remastered the sound the graphics the animation and of course the animation I already said it's hand drawn it's not like uh, all computers generated and uh, but that's so really neat concept not neat. and last but not least it comes with the materials for you to make and build a little arcade cabinet where you can stick your Nintendo Switch screen, just the screen itself, and make it and make it appear as if you were playing an arcade. I, I think I find that a really, really, really nice detail they put into it. Overall, this pack, the collector's edition, it's definitely a, a thumbs up. They really put a lot of effort into pleasing the fan base for those of us who are fans of Toki. Me personally, I can say that it is definitely on my top 5 Sega Genesis games. I will see if these may become some of my top Nintendo Switch games because it definitely is for my Sega Genesis. How long has half I said it so many times before Streets of Rage is my number one. This is definitely on my top 5. So let's move on with the gameplay and test it out and see how challenging it is, cause it is. <clears throat> So we are ready, set to go. I got my Pro Controller. I, I like to play with the Pro Controllers. Uh, I don't know, I just can't still even, like I mentioned before, even with my small tiny hands, I just can't feel a good, a good, I don't get that good feeling of playing with the Joy-Cons. They're, they're too tiny. Or even if I play with the Joy-Cons, I have to play with the actual grip of the, the, the Joy-Cons come with. So let's get this started. That's another topic for another day. Yes, that's me, Sapation, and I'm gonna play it on the regular setting, on normal. Let's see, hopefully that's not too loud. Now this game, depending on what setting you put it on, I think that's still kind of loud. Depending on what setting you put it on, whether it's the easy, the, the medium, hard, or it has a hardest setting, it, it will depend on how many lives you start with and how many continues you get. So I'm just gonna do medium. I think you get like three or four lives with that. Oh, only four lives. And oh, but you get like nine continues. So it's not bad. I think as the harder the difficulty, the less continues you have and less lives you have. Let's see how miserable this goes, but I, I've already played it, tested. And the graphics, let me see. Forgive me if the sound it's a bit louder. Here we go. And also, I, I think when, when I was testing it on the other... Yeah, it's a bit loud, sorry about that. Oh shit, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me! <laughs> also, what's the difference in the difficulty, not only the lights, but I think some enemies take a few more hits than what they usually would on the easy setting. Also, one thing that I know for sure, this enemy right here, it's the one, the boss for the first stage on the Sega Genesis. It's not just a regular enemy, it's a boss. So, it's one of the things they changed when they ported it over to the Sega Genesis. But other than that, I, I want to say graphics, just to put it in simple terms for those of you who are not so inclined to the video game terminology not that I'm an expert to that but just to put it in simple terms these hand drawn animations they look really well and the music is just a, a new remaster damn it damn it damn it damn it <laughs> you, you just really have to watch out 
on everything flying around. Like I say, it's a, it's just a one hit, dead, no health bar, and I really have to really watch it, as I cannot elaborate what I'm trying to say and do a good gameplay. <laughs> I don't know what I was in the middle of doing, but or saying. Well, here's the super or the spread power up. I was just doing the spiral tiny shit. Ah, damn. Yeah, you just really have to watch all the projectiles flying around and shit. Of course. What? Damn it! Freaking <sighs> That's one thing that uh, you cannot do. You cannot walk and shoot at the same time. I know it's kind of a cheap thing. That's something that you can do on Contra. You can run and shoot at the same time, of course. Why wouldn't you be able to when you're soldiers in the jungle, right? There you go. What that helmet does, it kind of gives you like unlimited hits while it lasts. It lasts just for a few seconds, not too much. But you can be touched by enemies and not be hurt or not be killed. You can either shoot the enemies or stomp on them, just like you would in Mario, stepping on the turtles. And I think we're up to the first boss already here. Yes, we are. You just have to have- Oh god, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead! Yeah, that was a bad move. I, I, I cornered my own self there. That was a really dumbass move. I shouldn't have done that. And of- Oh my god! That was that was just a plain dumb move. Like I said, one hit kills and and you are dead. And see, the thing with this, I'm probably not going to be able to finish shit here on the first walkthrough on the plate. Oh, God! Just have to have the fastest fingers in the West. Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, God! Dead! Oh. Whew. Now, it is relatively kind of easy because I know when you put it on the hardest scene that his health bar just like I mentioned a few minutes ago they the enemies take more hits than they would on the easy or medium setting uh, if I recall I think the the furthest I've gone here on the original for me this is the original because this is the only one I've owned um, I've gotten probably up to the to the second uh, to the fourth level stage or world god okay let me get rid of this guy oh god and I know there are probably other ways to get around on certain stages or parts oh god oh god oh god but me not being a pro at it I take my time on doing certain things getting around certain enemies because I'm already half done my enemies off the first stage which it really sucks oh, I remember this guy this guy you can only hit him while he's completely visible not invisible yes it's definitely the hit how many hits the enemies take I know that one flying guy that appears and disappears I know he takes more than a couple times. Look at that, that looks really, really nice. It, this actually really looks like really close to arcade quality back in the day. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. But hey, this was the best that we could get back in the day. The, whether, whether, even if you own the, <laughs> the, the Nintendo version, the Sega Genesis, or any other ports, it was the best and the only thing we had. We didn't have much choices. See, you can stomp on the enemies and try to reach other 
thing areas or power-ups in this case that you would normally would with a regular jump and I know this guy's gonna come up I gotta shoot him up yep gotta kill him yeah I think you just have to hit him like right on the forehead it looks really nice. It, it looks beautiful. I like it. I like it a lot. And this is not one of those games. I think it's rather an underrated game, even though it didn't turn into a big franchise. Uh, not French fries. Franchise. Because <laughs> as far as I know, this was the only game that was released for the Toki series. Or I wouldn't even say Toki series because it wasn't even a series, it was just uh, one game. But it would have been nice to have different games. Oh god, oh god, oh god! Oh god. You just have to keep your space when he's about to throw the eyeballs and he's dead. I don't know if that kills me, but oh. Or not. I don't know how I got three lives. I, I am not even sure. I don't even remember what the coins are for. If you get a life after so many, just like you would in Mario. But here we go, stage three. I know this is not an easy stage. That's all I remember. I. I already test the game out oh same thing with this guy he disappears but you have to watch out because that's exactly what he's gonna do he'll like shoot those flinging fire arrows or whatever it is I don't even know what that key is for but Okay, where is this sucker at? I don't want him to come. I can hear him flying around. He better not come and touch me right as I lose my helmet power up. Oi, 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 oi. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, woof. Yeah, you just gotta keep your distance with those suckers, with those spiders. And with this zombie, I'm gonna wait for him, and then when he stinks, st stands his arms out, I think I can go for these! Ah, uh, you see how I got hit by the arrow? That would've killed me. And that little knot or thing, see, I would've already been dead right there, if it wasn't for the helmet. Oi! Ooh! And I forgot that pit was there. I just landed on the left side by luck. And then there's this firebird again. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Just die! Here we go. I seriously don't know what those keys are for. I know I just want to kill that guy because I want to bounce on this guy, on this guy, and get myself that life. Oh my god, I didn't... Seriously? I didn't see that mosquito flying thing. Well, it was worth a shot, I guess. 
gotta get the hell out of way from these spiky things because the... Like that. Whew. I'm sweating. I'm not kidding. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Even the shell kiss kills you. God. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Damn! What, what is this for? Every... Oh, God! God! <laughs> God, okay, let, let's try it again. I'm gonna give it a couple more times. I, I don't think I'm gonna go very much far into the game, but let, let's try it. It's not an easy game, and even though I'm, it seems like I'm going fluently through it, it it's not. It's just like, I, I'm... Seriously, Swinning, I'm actually trying. <laughs> you know, the only thing that I'm gonna say is that having this game to be a remastered game, it sucks that it doesn't have the feature, feature to load or... Uh, oh god, oh god, yeah. Oh god. Sorry, like I said, I, I, there are times where I can't... I can't talk and elaborate at the same time. It doesn't have the load feature, it doesn't have the save feature for you to save it at whatever stage you may have left it on. If you want to start the game from scratch or from, from the beginning, you, you, you don't have that option. And I know that was not the case either on these the older games, but I repeat, having these to having these to be a newer game, it would have been a nice feature to have. So that would be my only complaint about it, because it really looks really nice. Okay, let's just get through these. See, I would have been dead there already if it hadn't been for the helmet. These freaking monkeys, dude. Oh my god! Are you serious? What kind of bitch ass move is that? I did not see that flying red bean. Sucks, I ain't going it very far into this game with these cheap deaths. Die, mother effer, birdie. Ah, oh, come on! Serious? I'm telling you, that... Uh. And here I go again. Oh my god, it touched like my heel and I'm dead. Come on. A cheap ass pussy ass monkey is that oh I'm dead I'm dead oh god come on god damn it fucking bird god oh god come on just die are you serious just die I lost all my lives to that stupid bird. That sucks. Hopefully I'll be able to get myself alive right here without dying. Hopefully we'll be able to make it up to the boss or get ourselves alive before I die okay I grab to grab momentum here we go are you see ah oh, freaking shells dude okay do I have to are you see come on oh god 
<laughs> and I mean that in a good way. <laughs> well, here we go again. Our second continue already? God, sucks. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's put more effort into these now. Because I don't want to bore you with the same game here over and over again, on the same stage. Just gets frustrating to a point where, like, you just want to haul ass through it. Oh, no, 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 no. Ah, freaking bird! I think the trick to is to keep on shooting him before he goes too far. Oh, no. No, that's not it. I was gonna say that I think a trick would be to not let him go visible for too long a lo long period of a time so you can have enough time to shoot him before he starts to shoot his flaming arrows or flaming sperms. Come on! Oh hell no 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 oh. oh god this sucks whole ass through these I had the helmet what that's a bitch ass move and I'm down to one life now again damn it that sucks oh, something fell over there and I wasn't paying attention damn it Oh, come on another continue and I did not even went past the third screen of this stage that's pathetic <laughs> I'm never gonna finish this game so there was a flying back all right I'm dead oh! see I'm just at that level now like oh just pass it just pass it I just want to get through it I don't care and I'm not paying attention, I'm not taking my time as you should be on these type of games. Kind of like that. That's... Oh! Kill this first one. And then jump on top of this guy. Get my power up. Come on! God damn it! dude come on <laughs> I can't with this game and I'm only on the third stage god I'm mad <laughs> I'm seriously mad I have the helmet god damn it okay let's do this let's get ourselves alive without losing without losing a life come on that's what I just said god I'm seriously mad this is freaking hard oh god that was a, just a straight out stupid move freaking game takes advantage of it knowing that I freaking love this game Oh God! Freaking monkeys! My God! How am I ever gonna pass those shells, dude? How the hell? I had the helmet. What the for doodles? <laughs> he died like <laughs> Oh my god, come on! Okay, let's get ourselves alive without freaking dying, please.
<laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I jumped right into his mouth. Oh, and we're at the boss. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, stop! God! Oh God. Jesus Christ, how many hits? I think he outdid that part right there. Oh God, finally, finally, Jesus Christ, oh God. So I got through the first two stages easily like what in a matter of 10 minutes, it took me <laughs> like almost 20-30 minutes for the th fourth one. That's pathetic. 